My name's Andrew Jobling. I'm an accidental author. In fact, I call myself an unlikely athlete and an accidental author, which I'll explain as we get through this short video. But first, I just want to say good on you for watching it. I'm not sure why you're watching it, but I'm guessing that if you are spending your valuable time looking at this short video, that you are probably interested in writing a book. Maybe you have decided to write a book. Maybe you've started on the journey of writing a book. Maybe you're stuck in the process of writing a book. Maybe you're ready to tear it up and throw it in the trash and forget about writing a book. Maybe you want to understand why you would even think about writing a book. Maybe you are trying to work out what's the process and how do I actually go about writing a book and not just writing a book because I'm a very, very strong believer in the fact that it's not about the book. It's about the journey. It's about what that book represents. It's about what you can do with your book, the lives it'll change, the opportunities that it can create, the doors that will open, the ability it will give you to transform your life. And if you're watching this with, a, I guess, a dream in your heart that you can see yourself as a published author making a difference in the world, then, then this video is for you. Now, I mentioned that I'm an unlikely athlete and an accidental author. Well, when uh, I was young, I had a vision and that vision was to play professional sport. I call myself unlikely athlete because I wasn't really necessarily equipped to be a professional sportsman, but it was a dream of mine and I pretty much focused all my time and attention into achieving that dream to be a professional sportsman therefore i didn't really need to worry too much about school or study or reading or writing or any of those things that most people would consider important i didn't think i needed it because i was going to be an australian footballer no brains required and in my teens i was 16 years old when i was invited to come and train at a professional football club here in melbourne australia and for the next seven years i played professional sport and fulfilled that dream Beyond that, I then thought, well, what am I gonna do? And I just fell into the health and fitness industry. I became a personal trainer, and with the same determination and focus that I put into becoming a professional sportsman, I put that into building myself as a personal trainer, and I put a lot of time and effort and energy into that pursuit, and I became quite successful. In fact, too successful. What I mean by too successful is when you're a successful business owner in your own small business, it means you generally don't have a life because you're too busy training people, which I was, 5 a.m. starts, 9 p.m. finishes, um, and found myself within a few short years really a little bit out of control. One thing I did have was a dream in my heart, and that dream was I wanted to make a difference in the world. And the first, I guess, thought along those lines came um, based around nutrition. As I learned a lot about good nutrition, I thought this is something I want to share with the world. So I started trying to educate people and talk to people. I even decided to buy a cafe, which when you're running your own personal training business and working 80 hours a week to then try and combine that with a cafe business is certainly a recipe for disaster, which is how it turned out. After two years of working seven days a week, over 100 hours a week in those two businesses, the cafe ended up in a lot of debt. And I found myself sitting there after personal training for 15 years and running a, a, a failed cafe for two years. Now when I say failed cafe, I mean a very good yet expensive learning experience. I was sitting there going, well, what do I do now? And, and I can remember the day very, very clearly. I was sitting in the back office of the cafe towards the end and looking at the bank balance on the computer screen, just hoping some some money would magically appear from somewhere. Well, all of a sudden, this idea dropped into my head. And that idea was write a book. And it was a totally illogical thought. It was absolutely irrational. You know, at that point in my life, I was working over 100 hours a week. You know, I was working seven days. I had a cafe that needed my attention. You know, that's one reason that would, really it was a totally illogical decision. And the other reason was that I was not a reader, not a writer, didn't really do much in the English space. I wasn't qualified to write a book. None of the things that you would consider are necessary to be a successful author did I have. What I did have was a dream, what I did have was a desire, and what I did have was this spontaneous and intuitive gut feeling that drove me into action and somehow I found time. I prioritised it, 
I've, I've developed pockets of time every day that I could spend writing that, that book. And incredibly, within six months, I'd written first draft and within two years, I'd, I had my own and my very first published book, which was called Eat Chocolate, Drink Alcohol and Be Lean and Healthy. That book then went on to become a bestseller. And I can tell you within two years of making that crazy illogical decision, I was retired as a personal trainer. I am incredibly grateful that I am spontaneous and I'm not an overthinker. I'm incredibly grateful that I just went with that gut feeling and I prioritized the time. If I had put it off, which I, I could quite have easily done, if I'd stopped to analyze, should I, shouldn't I, will I, won't I, can I, can't I, if I'd stopped to do that logical analysis, I would never ever have taken the first step and I would never be a full-time published author today. The benefits, oh my goodness. And again, I pinch myself every day because it would have been so easy for me to talk myself out of it and I would have kept going down the same path and who knows where I would be today. But incredibly that decision helped me create the right habits. It helped me get really focused on what was most important to me. And what was most important to me at that time was to create a new life options for myself financially, for me to make a difference, for me to, to live a life that I was passionate about about every single day and one that helped me fulfill my purpose in life. And it would never have happened if I didn't make that decision. The result writing that book is I've now got confidence, I've got a big picture. It helped me open doors to becoming a, a corporate speaker, to run public workshops, to get into schools and talk to teenagers. It's helped me gain the confidence to know that if I can become an author, I can help other authors. And I wrote an online program that went global. I now mentor people all around the world. I travel to places all around the world and I share the, the message that this is possible and it's worth it. And why am I talking to you right now? Because in your head, you're thinking, well, I'd like to write a book, but. Now, I just want you to get rid of your but and make a decision to get started now because I can tell you that the things will change in your life the minute, the moment you become an author, a published author, things will change. So therefore, if things are gonna change incredibly for the better when you're a published author, then it's not something to put off. It's something to get done. It's not something to put on the back burner. And there's a lot of other things you can put on the back burner. This is not one of them. Yes, I understand it takes time. You know, yes, I understand that you know there's other urgent things in your life. Yes, I understand that you're not going to make money in the initial stages, but I can tell you that unless you commit and make the time to get it done, then none of these other amazing opportunities will happen. So I want to give you some reasons why I think now, right now, no matter how illogical or crazy it might sound, that now is the right time for you to get started writing your book. The first reason is simple. Now is the only time you have. I mean, there's no other time. And if you don't prioritize the time you have now, then what happens is you put it off to another day. I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it next week. And what happens is that then becomes a habit. And that habit is one that will lead you down a path where you'll probably end up with regret at some point in your life. And, you know, sadly, tragically for so many people they say yeah i'll do it when i've got time or i'll do it when i finish this i'll do it when that that's done and they put it off and put it off and put it off and put it off and they never ever ever do it because the reality is that there's always going to be challenges and and distractions in life you know it doesn't matter whether it's today or tomorrow or next week or next month or next year there are always going to be distractions so my suggestion is get started the time's there it really is there when you make a decision when you prioritize it you'll find quite easily there are things that you can put off or you can put on the back burner or things you don't need to be doing right now and you can create space for me I was able to turn off the TV I got up a little bit earlier I utilized pockets of time when maybe I would have been socializing or on the internet or on social media when I'd said no no for me for a short period of time I'm going to prioritize the time to write this book the main reason why now is the, the most important time for you is because as I mentioned earlier it's not going to get done unless you get it done and 
those things, those incredible benefits I've already explained to you aren't going to happen until you're a published author, which means the quicker you get there, the sooner you can start to enjoy some of these amazing benefits. I can tell you that I'm married to the most beautiful woman in the world as a result of making a decision to write that book. I have created financial options. I have created better relationships with people I care about. I have diversified. I'm doing things now that I never thought that I'd be doing all because of that decision to write the book and the confidence it gave me and the big picture it gave me and the, the people it allowed me to meet and the doors that it opened. Now, if that's something that's important to you, maybe for you, it's about getting more traffic to your business and building your business. Maybe for you, it's about getting out of your business. Um, maybe for you, it's, it's making a difference. Maybe for you, it's the ability to diversify your income and create an asset style income. I'm not sure what it is for you. Maybe for you it's to, to set an example to your kids, to be someone that lives a life of purpose and significance. I don't know why it is you're watching this and if you've got to this stage of the video, then I'm guessing it's pretty important. If anything I've said to you has resonated with you, if you feel like you're ready and maybe scared but ready to really look into this, I want to encourage you to reach out to me. I would love to offer you a free 30 minute Skype or Zoom call. I don't care where you are in the world. I'm in Melbourne, Australia, but it doesn't matter. We can connect um, electronically and we can have a conversation about you, what you're trying to achieve in your life, what your book is, how to get started and some ideas of what it will mean for you if you can actually make it happen. You know, whether you want more help from me, that's a totally other conversation that we'll have, but really I just want to connect with you, have a conversation with you, help you understand that this is not just a nice thing to do, it's an incredible thing that will totally transform your life in so many, so many ways. So again, um, please respond through um, Facebook or email. My website is andrewjobling.com.au, but please, if you feel so moved, if you feel a little Twitter in your heart and, and a, something in your gut saying, yeah, do it, then follow that intuition, be spontaneous, get into action. I can tell you that it's the best thing, one of the best things you'll ever, ever do. And I look forward to talking to you really soon.